The 100 deadliest days of summer refers to the peak season of teenage driving, related fatalities from Memorial Day to Labor Day. In 2022, 49 drivers between the ages of 16 and 19 were killed in motor vehicle fatalities in Massachusetts. The most teenage fatalities since 2008, when 56 teenagers were killed. Driving fatalities is the number one cause of death for teenagers in the United States. There are ways to keep teen drivers safer. If you have a teen driver in your life, be part of the solution. As a parent or guardian, you play a very important role in keeping teens safe. Create and enforce family driving rules and set a good driving example. Follow Massachusetts junior operator restrictions, especially the following three restrictions. Limit the number of passengers to two. And remember, newly licensed drivers under 18 are not allowed to have passengers the first six months that they're licensed. Keep young drivers off the road at night. Drivers under 18 years old may not drive between the hours of 12.30 a.m. and 5 a.m. Prohibit all phone use, especially texting. Drivers under 18 may not use any electronic devices, including hands-free. When these things happen at the same time, they raise the risk of a crash by almost 1,500%. Let's work together to educate our young drivers and have a safe summer on the roads. Come one, come all to the Littleton Rotary Club's first annual Summer Kickoff Carnival. Thursday, June 20th through Sunday, June 23rd at the corner of Routes 119 and 110 by Littleton Common. This charity event is presented by the Littleton Rotary Club to raise money for Littleton's TREAD program, which reduces property taxes for Littleton's needy, elderly, and disabled. The carnival is being produced by Fiesta Shows with exciting rides, games, food, and attractions for all ages. The Littleton Rotary Club will host a beer garden for visitors 21 or older with pizza from Sal's Pizza, dancing and musical entertainment each evening. On Thursday, DJ Jim will play requests and dedications and host a dance contest. Friday's stage will feature performers from around the area at an open mic night. A special Saturday night show starring the Shakers will get everyone dancing. Sunday's 2 o'clock kids matinee will star magician Stephanie Beach, who will amaze and amuse all ages. Sunday night will feature the band Back to the Garden, and that'll wrap it up. This is a great family event with something for everyone, so circle the dates and tell your friends and neighbors as Littleton Rotary Club's first annual summer kickoff carnival comes to town.
Uh, the plumbing class runs approximately 10 weeks, and throughout the class, you will learn about plumbing theory. You will work in shop. You will use a variety of materials such as copper, PEX, PVC, CPVC. Um, you also use some of the latest equipment in the plumbing trade. But you will be using ProPress, MegaPress, the expander tools, um, and other things like that. Upon completion of the class, you'll be certified in uh, Viega, Counter-Strike, and a few other things. Overall, it's a great learning experience for someone who wants to enter the plumbing trade. CTI is a great program because it's free for the students and it's a great opportunity just to start a brand new career, a rewarding career as an electrician. It's great, it's great being here, you know, and everybody's here is, here is friendly to each other and we just, you know, we have a good time. We go in the classroom and we come out and we work and we get to see stuff that we built just, you know, light up. I'm just here because I think it's so cool to like see people come in here knowing like pretty much absolutely nothing about electrical, like not even knowing the names of some types of tools, the names of some types of switches. After you run a bunch of three-way switches, four-way switches, things I've never heard of in my life. While you're in CTI, it gives you a bunch of certifications. You can put it on your resume. Students who complete the electrical CTI program will receive OSHA 10 construction certification, hut work certification, ram set powder actuated tool certification, and a certificate of completion of the 200-hour NCTI electrical course. Our students will be hired by companies such as Bratton Industries, MEC Electrical Contractors, Phoenix Electrical Contractors, Stellos Electric, Village Electric, and Oil Electric. It's a great time to be an electrician. There's a lot of work, and there's just not enough people doing it. Just the per personality is great here. My advice to anyone interested in joining the electrical field would be to find a program like CTI. My name is Brian Kelly. I'm an ASC Master Certified Automotive Technician and a licensed uh, automotive technology teacher in the state of Massachusetts. People in the industry tell us what they're looking for for entry-level technicians, so we use that to inform how we build the curriculum. So we talk about safety, working in the automotive shop, how to use hand tools, equipment, and then we get into the basic automotive um, areas. We talk about engine repair, engine performance, brakes, steering, suspension, um, cooling systems, um, so we go over the whole automobile for maintenance, uh, multi-point inspections, repairs, and service. They get safety certifications through CareerSafe in OSHA 10, um, as well as ASE, which also provides pollution prevention certifications, automotive lift institute certifications for lifting vehicles, interviewing, team meetings, working with customers, writing resumes, things like that, to help them get that career started. Um, they also get a Massachusetts Vehicle State Inspector's License, and they can earn student level ASE tests so they can get a student level ASE certification that helps them get that job that they need to get their two years of experience to get their full ASE certification. 